Hi everyone and welcome to the weekly What's Up where we have highlights every week of the photo and video section at Envato Toots Plus. My name is Shruti Shikhar and this week we're going to be having a special course by Kez Breezy on making the shift to Affinity Photo. But I have Jackson Kaus here who is the editor of the photo and video section who is going to speak on behalf to tell me a little bit about what this course is going to be all about. So hey Jackson, how are you? Hey, I'm, I'm great. Glad to be here. Awesome. Cool. So I know that the course is about making the switch to Affinity Photo. Now, I am uh, I have no idea anything about this. So tell me a little bit about who this course is for um, and why is it cool? What What's so awesome about it? OK, so Affinity Photo is a new software, a new uh, alternative to Photoshop. Uh, it's much cheaper than Photoshop, and it's got some new tricks uh, that you can do. Um, so the the this course, the first course that we're launching, the course that we're launching this week, is all about personas. And if you're familiar with Lightroom, then you understand the idea of personas. And personas are uh, special, like sort of uh, functional areas within the program that you can switch between two different things. Um, so in this course, which is a coffee break course, Kez shows you all about personas and how to use them. Um, so if you're thinking about switching from Photoshop or if you're looking for an alternative uh, or if you're getting into photography for the first time and choosing your, uh, your post-production software, uh, this is a really good course for you. So tell me a little bit about why the shift would be great for someone who is just starting out, because this is a very, this is like a beginner's course, I believe. And so why yeah. is it really helpful? It's a really affordable piece of software and it's easy to use. Um, it's easy for people who are starting to get into and you won't break the bank. And it also doesn't require a big commitment uh, of a monthly payment for the Adobe Creative Suite. Right, exactly. Because I think that's what I tried doing and I was just like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. So maybe actually this might be a good course for me too since I don't really want to be spending any more money than I already have. Yeah, so there are a lot of alternatives there to Photoshop, but uh, many of them don't really have the features that, that Photoshop does to sort of meet a very basic need. And if you want to, you know, change the size of an image or crop it, that's great. But this one really has all of the special functions that you need in, in a post-production piece of software, like layers and, and you know, advanced controls and compositing and, and all sorts of great stuff. And, you, and some stuff that even doesn't exist in Photoshop. Now, I know I don't want to get into the actual course because I want Kes to, <laughs> to explain it yeah. to me. But is it easy? Because I I don't I have I've never done it, so I, I hope hopefully it's easy. <laughs> yeah, it's uh well I mean it's it's what you want it to be. Um so if you are just doing simple stuff, yeah, absolutely this program will work for you. It's really straightforward and, and easy to use. And if you're a more advanced user, uh there's the options there for you as well. That's all we have for this week's weekly what's up. I'm gonna have a little roundup right here of what's gonna happen every single day this week. So hopefully you stick around and watch what we're doing. Bye.